welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be looking at painting up this Marduk model. Uh, we're going to start with uh, two of the heads and uh, concentrate on those. Uh, this is the green head uh, of the model. Let me just double check. Yes, this is the green one. Uh, so straight away we're going to get some Plague Bearer's Flash. And we're just going to go over all of its skin, like so. So as you can see, I've done a sort of slap chop uh, undercut scheme. And I'm going to be painting the whole thing up using, the, using that type of undercut method. So I'm going to crack this out, get this all painted up in green, and we'll meet you back in a few. Okay, so with that one drying, we're going to work on the blue head. And this is going to be Talisar Blue. Uh, this is quite a quite a dark blue, actually. Uh, so let's just uh, get a little bit on. See how, yeah. Nice and sort of electric blue type colour, isn't it? Which I think is exactly what we're going for. Sorry, I'm filming this and I'm absolutely full of cold. Okay, so you can see what we're doing here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get the rest of it done. And then we'll be back. So with the green dry, we're going to be applying a shade. And I'm going to use a Fernian Camo shade. And we're going to put this all over uh, the green areas of the dragon dragon's head and it's just to make it a little bit richer uh, make it darker in all the recesses uh, it's probably not really needed but I just wasn't overly keen on just how green it was so I'm just stepping up that green color by putting on the camo shed and just letting it flow this uh, these these models are, are so well sculpted they've got so many uh, lines and creases and areas where shades work and really ideal for sort of contrast paints so just be careful not to let it pull too much where we're not going to want it and trying to avoid anywhere that's going to be a lighter color so all its horns are going to be obviously a much lighter color I guess I'm going to go around the rest of it and be back in a few. So with the green shade done on the green parts, we're going to shade the blue parts. And for that, we are using a uh, Tiran Blue. <clears throat> and again, we're just uh, getting it all into the recesses and uh, let it just make the blue stand out a little more, make it a little bit more saturated. Uh, all over this one. As you can see, it's quite a quite a difference that it makes. Okay, so I'll get on with the rest of it, and I'll meet you back in the next part. Okay, so moving on to the uh, skeleton head, we're uh, just going to give this a coat of skeleton horde, and we're just going to go all over. His face with this one uh, and anywhere where the bones are showing such as through the the cloths here and along the spine and uh, so on and so forth and uh, now his horns on the uh, box are a black and we probably will do them black but just for the sake of continuity we're gonna color them in the skeleton horde as well Okay, so I'll just go around the model, uh, being as careful as you can, being as neat as possible, making sure that you catch everything and let the paint build up in all the right places. And I'll be back when she's done. The fourth head, we're going to use apocryph, apocryph, we're going to use white, <laughs> the uh, the contrast white, I can't say it, apothecary, yeah that's what we're going for. 
uh, we're just going to coat this all over. Uh, so this is the white head. Uh, we're going to see what this looks like. Uh, notice we're missing out the arms uh, they're, because they're part of the main body which is going to be red with the middle head. Uh, but we're filling in everything else. Okay, so I'm going to get this coat on and uh, we'll be back with the next step. That white now dry, we're going to uh, give a shade of Nuln Oil. Okay, and this is just to get in those recesses, uh, darken it all back down, and then prepare it for a dry brush. Just to make it all stand out. So we're just really concentrating on anywhere where there is a, a recess, uh, a gap in the plates, anything like that. Just to define those edges a lot more. Okay, we'll carry on. I'll see you in a few. Okay, so uh, the next stage is going to be a dry brush stage. And uh, uh, the white one's still drying with the northern oil in it, but I'll, I'll go through what we're going to highlight them with. So we're going to do the blue one with Temple Guard Blue. Uh, the green one we're going to use Auric Flesh. The Bone Dragon we shall be using Screaming Skull. And when the other one's dry, we'll be using Ulthran Grey. Uh, so I'm just going to get on and dry brush these. Uh, we're going to do a very light dry brush. Uh, so I'm going to do all of them, uh, so you don't have to watch me do each one individually. I'm going to do a very light dry brush on all of the dragon's heads with the corresponding colour that I've just mentioned. Uh, so I'll get that done and I'll show you the, the result. So this is the, uh, the dry brush done. Uh, I will say I did two coats on this one. Uh, just to bring that white sort of out and uh, make it uh, pop a little bit more. Uh, the green's looking pretty good. Uh, the blue's picked up everything that I wanted it to, all the highlights and uh, all the edges. Uh, and obviously uh, the burn one is a lot brighter now once it's had a dry brush. Okay, so we're going to do the uh, the insides of the mouth here and I'm going to be using Carabag Crimson. Uh, there's only two with open mouths that I'm going to be painting, the uh, the dead uh, uh, necromancer one. I'm not going to paint the inside of that mouth as it's mainly burn. Uh, we're just going to get the Carabag Crimson in there, uh, cover its tongue as well. And it's just to, to tint the colour inside its mouth and, and its tongue. Okay, uh, it may take a couple of coats this one because it's not a very strong colour. Uh, but it's just the right colour. <coughs> oh, we've got guests. Uh, so I'll crack on, get this one done and uh, I'll be back with, with you in a few. Okay, so with the insides of the mouth just set to one side while it dries, uh, I'm going to paint the cloth or the, the skin uh, on the bone dragon. And for that I'm going to use Shyish Purple. Uh, it's a little bit of a necromancer colour, isn't it? So, uh, the, just going to cover all the cloth now in the shyish purple. I think it's cloth. It could be, it could really be skin, but even so, it'll definitely be purple, whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to crack on, get the rest of the uh, the purple done. And then we can move on. Okay, so the uh, the shyish purple is uh, drying, uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repick out the uh, the horns, uh, the teeth. And we're going to use Carrick Stone. <clears throat> uh, this is going to be the, like the first time where we're doing some proper painting that doesn't involve contrast, I suppose, but. Uh, yeah, so all we're going to do here is we're just going to gently colour the areas to give them more depth and definition. 
and same with the, the horns we're just going to sort of pick out the edges doesn't matter if you're a little bit uh, heavy handed with this because we're probably going to put a wash on as well uh, I'm going to see what the final result is before I make my decision here but yeah just something like this you could use Morn Fang, uh, Morn, I think it's Morn Fang, isn't it? Or, no, no, it's brown. Uh, the Morgast, Morgast, is it? Morgast Bone or something like that. Uh, I just like this Carrick Stone and how that looks. Okay, so we're going to crack on, do the rest of them. And uh, this, is, this is probably going to take a little while because there's lots of lots of elements of uh, horns and, and, and whatnot, so I'll crack on and we'll be back in a few. So with that done, we're, we're going to do a, a dry brush now. Uh, we're going to use Nagaroth Knight, and we're just going to use uh, this on the on the purple, on the shyish purple, uh, just to kind of re-establish the purple colour, and just give it that little bit of a highlight. Now obviously you need to be really really careful doing this bit because you've got the bone that you don't want to really get any of this on if you can help it. But just be nice and careful just picking up the edges here just to lift that colour and make it stand out a little bit more. Okay I'm going to carry on with the rest, I'll be back in a few. Okay, so moving on to the next detail, we're going to colour in the eyes now. Uh, so the uh, the white dragon's going to have blue eyes. Uh, it's a blue-eyed white dragon. And the green dragon's going to have red eyes. We're going to use uh, corn red. Sorry, we're using temple guard blue again for the, the eyes of the white dragon. Uh, Slanesh grey for the, uh, the bone dragon. And flash gets yellow for the blue dragon. Uh, so we're just going to crack on, get that done with a small brush. And uh, then we're moving on to the final stages of the uh, uh, the bone and the teeth. Okay, so we, we got the eyes painted up. Uh, and for some reason, uh, I did do a Reichland Flesh Shed wash on the teeth and horns. Uh, just to darken them down a little bit. Uh, that's a very, very pale purple. You might not even be able to pick that out on the on the camera there. Uh, so the last uh, the last step now, uh, and we're calling these done, is just highlighting the teeth and horns. And literally all this is going to be is just a tiny little brush and then a little flick on each of the teeth just to make them stand out and pop a little bit. Okay, maybe being a little bit more careful than that. Okay, so that's that's all there is to it. And uh, I'll get this done, and then I'll be back to show you the end results. Okay, so I am calling these done. Okay, so we, we're going to do the arm when we do the main body, because that's going to be the same colour as the main body. Uh, I think these two go together something like that. And then these two are at the other side, like so. Okay, so there we are. Four of the five dragon heads down. Uh, obviously, if you're painting a, a white, green, blue, or bone dragon, then just replicate the same uh, throughout the whole body. And uh, you should have something looking pretty, pretty awesome in the end. I'm really pleased on how this uh, this white has turned out. I've not painted white before, I've got to admit that. Uh, I, I know it's a, a difficult colour to do, uh, but I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I, I can't have asked for any better than that. In, in fact, I think this and the blue one are my favourites. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, so anyway, uh, like and subscribe, especially if you want to see how I do the body. That's all prepped up and ready to go. Uh, 
but I haven't started as of yet. So uh, yeah, please like and subscribe uh, to see the rest of it uh, and to uh, see the other things that I've got coming up as well. All right, so uh, hopefully I shall catch you in the next one.